This is 100 Watts and a Wire. From Sheena Marie, she had a question. Um, is an EQ or a mixer worth it? Or is uh, all in the microphone? Is it all in the microphone? Great question, Sheena. Thank you for asking that. And um, I know she's a new ham, so I want to tread lightly here because I think uh, I, I remember thinking in the early days that I may not be able to afford this hobby because of all the things I had seen people who've been in the game for a long time had. And I was like, I can't get that. Well, now I got to buy this. And, um, you know, I think a good microphone is worth it. Absolutely. And I think, um, you know, says the audio guy, (laughs) but you know, depending on the radio you have, like it's it's going to get tricky here, this conversation, I'm going to have to have the guys jump in here as well, because I think a good microphone is important. There are some EQ settings in these modern rigs, uh, if you have one, uh, that you can kind of tweak a little bit. But even my ICOM 7610, I mean, you can only add a little, you know, can add treble, take it away, give a little bass, take it away. It's not so sophisticated. Um, so, yes, but I know that you're new and I don't want to frighten you with the things that you can possibly do with audio here. So, I'll lean into, yeah, I think a good microphone is worth it. And I'm going to um, send it to Steve to think, uh, send his thoughts over. Well, I'm, and you're right. The microphone is, it's, is the, the foundation. It's what, uh, where we stand and where we start. And depending on the microphone. So I got two of them here. These are Hiles. So uh, this one right here with the purple band is a HM12. And it's basically an all a, a flat audio microphone. It's good from the lows all the way to 12k and above, so way outside of our lane. And but it's it's pretty well flat when you look at a, a graph on it. Here, this is the uh, HM10 with the uh, HC5 element in it. So basically, there I was telling you about that little bump at about uh, two kilohertz that will accentuate your voice at that at that frequency and it'll be a and it basically is equalizing it so for me if i was using just strictly a, a flat microphone like this i would probably go through an equalizer and just for the mere fact that if you want to start working dx or you want to work the bouvet island that's coming up so you want to start bringing up you want to take the lows out of your voice and you want to start concentrating it more on the upper end. Sheena, you got the you already have that just by the nature of most female voices are going to be on the higher side. And so you're going to have that punch. And if you ever when you start operating more on HF or if you're listening, you will hear women and younger kids with the higher voices before the teenage boys, you know they drop and then their audio goes goes lower they will break through the pileups so you have that natural advantage right because the the 2k is is uh, accentuated so for us dudes um if you're using a flat microphone as we'll just call the 12 uh then having a mixer in there to kind of bump up the mid-range to kind of and then reduce the lows you can tailor it a lot faster yes you can do it on the radio but like on my yesus you got to start going into the menus you got to start drilling down and it, if you're you know operating or something you just reach over and if you got a mixer just twist the knob and away you go now if you start utilizing other microphones like the re20 or or pr40 or any of the other uh, studio grade microphones now you're dealing with a mic that is more of a balanced microphone versus an unbalanced microphone. And the, having a mixer is a nice device that will help reduce audio and interface it in there. So there, there's a number of, of things you can, um, you can use the mixer for. Don't go, if you decide to go one, don't go stupid, crazy, and get some big 32 position mixer. Woo! A little. Ooh, yeah, baby. Uh, a little four band, uh, a four channel mixer like a Mackie or a Alesis or a Behringer will will do the job. And uh, 
and you can you can get a lot out of it. But uh, is it really really needed? No. If so you want to experiment, if you want to experiment with audio, and uh, and kind of change things around a little bit, yes. But it's uh, it's not a necessary item. The thirty two position board is called the Kama Sutra board. <laughs> it uh, works very well when you're ready for that. Uh, Scotty, uh, chime in on this one here about the first microphones. Keep it in mind, I think that um, we're usually uh, uh, one of the first stops for newer hams coming in. And I just want to preface everything that we say here is that I've been doing audio for 30 years, some form of it. Usually this this side of the microphone, Scotty's an engineer, uh, Steve's been a ham for over 40 years. So... We have to get ourselves back into the mindset of starting new and what comes out of that box. And, you know, I, I always default you're doing the best you can with what you have. Uh, but, yeah, the, the mic is important. Your audio is important to definitely guys like us. But we know that you're at the beginning of your journey. Scotty, uh, any advice, any tips? Yeah, I mean, it does all start, as Steve, Steve was saying, it does start at the microphone. That is the, uh, the the audio lens, so to speak, that captures your voice and turns it into the electrical signal uh, to begin with. So um, uh, the biggest change in your transmit audio uh, would probably be from the mic. If it, And there's and as Steve was saying, there's, there's a bunch of mics um, that are available to us. Um, High-fidelity microphones like this, I'm talking right now into a Shure SM7B. Um, this microphone, I've used it in front of my Yesu before and it, it, it needs, it sounds, it's a good sounding mic, it's a dynamic mic, um, but it's, uh, it's too broad band for single side band radio. And, and I, I usually need to filter the bottom end out a lot and, and goose the, uh, the upper mid range around two, three K to get some, uh, some articulation as Dr. Heil would say, uh, in my transmit audio. Um, but as far as getting a mixer, um, microphone, um, before the mixer, the mixer is one of these sort of luxury items that you'll come across once you get into it for a while. And once you uh, start accumulating radios, um, I have a small mixer in my shack now and I'm actually planning on, at, and on putting in a 30, a 32 position, um, mixer. No, not quite that. Big. <laughs> um, I am doing a mixer upgrade in my shack in the coming weeks. And I'm actually going to do a, a video, um, for the, uh, for a hundred watts on wire one on that uh on that install and go over small mixer sort of basics um but uh mostly what i have it for is for my receive audio i have all my radios in my shack are all well the reason i'm getting a bigger one is i need want every single audio source in my shack to dump into the mixer so that i have a small fader and an equalizer available on the receive audio of all of my rigs and those all go to a common speaker uh, and then I can adjust the balance. I can use the panner on the mixer to move one radio to the left speaker, move another radio to the right speaker if I'm monitoring two sources at once. So those, these are sort of luxury items that uh, are fun to have, but not until you've kind of been in it a while and you've and you've got you've collected some gear. Um, the mixer itself is not going to um, do a, a whole lot for your your transmit audio, other than a little bit of EQ. The microphone definitely would come first before any of that sort of stuff. For complete episodes, subscribe where you get podcasts and click the bell here on YouTube for features and live streams.